Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Trent Howerton, North Carolina Insurance Insights. Uh, welcome back or welcome if you've never been here before. If you have, feel free to go ahead and fast forward because here it comes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, there's no glitz, no glam, right? There's no special scenes or cutaways or whatever. This is unedited, unfiltered, unscripted raw video of me in my home bringing you relevant content i don't feel the need to reinvent myself or give you some kind of childish video to get your attention if you're here at an insurance insights uh channel then you need want or interested in insurance related topics that's what i'm doing <laughs> So without further ado, I told you a few weeks ago, we're going to get into insurance, uh, life insurance stuff. Today, we're talking term. Now, I'm going to try to get this done quick. So pay close attention. Disclaimer. None of this is carrier specific. Nothing. This is straight out of it's it's straight out of the textbook, right? I've got it in front of me. It's what I use to get my license. This is not carrier specific stuff. Uh, if you're a consumer and you've stumbled onto this video, when I say the word carrier, I'm talking about the company that actually provides the life insurance. Uh, so if you're an agent and you've been doing this for 30 years, congratulations. I'm not giving you any opinions. This is all straight out of the book. I'd be happy to take pictures and share it with you if that's what you'd like. Moving on, term life insurance. Okay, what is term life insurance? It is, it is the um, type of life insurance that you get the absolute most amount of coverage for the least amount of premium. It's called pure insurance. There's no little add-ons. There's no you're not getting dividends. There's no accounts. You know savings. It doesn't grow with the the market. None of that stuff. I want a half a million dollar policy. I want it to last me 20 years. Cool. You got it. What's your age? What's your height? What's your weight? Maybe you've got to do some paramed stuff or some medical things. Maybe you don't. Uh, and here's your premium. As long as you pay your premium, then if you were to pass away, your beneficiaries would receive that death benefit in the manner in which you prescribed it to be received. Um, now, death benefit, right? What is that? That's the number, right? So when we say I want a half a million dollar policy, well, then the death benefits a half a million dollars. Now, in some cases, if you miss your payment, two, three payments, then it would be half a million minus whatever those couple payments were. Okay. Uh, so then in that, in that instance, you would get was referred to as a face value. For Chevy, potato, potato. It is what it is. Uh, it really is pretty simple. Um, and then the premium, obviously, is no different than your home, auto, whatever. It's the price that you pay month over month or annually or however you choose to pay your policy. It's the money that you pay in for the coverage that is being provided. Basic types of term contracts. Uh, we've got three I'm going to talk to you about. Level, um, increasing, and decreasing. So level, your coverage is level. It's as much on day one as it is on, you know, year 20. All right. And it's, it is the most common one that I sell. Um, increasing. I want you to think about being at, at a, at a mall, right? You're at a mall. You want to go up a level. So you take the little escalator, right? And it, your coverage increases over a given amount of time. And what would you use that for? Um, well, let's say you, you, you're like the best spaghetti cook in your family. So you take that to a food truck and you start a business, but then your food truck does really well. So you open a brick and mortar. Well, that policy is going to increase as your business value increases and you just, you just work out that you you don't, but the carrier, uh, works out the math. Uh, there's also decreasing, right? So you're in the mall again. Now you want to go down a level and you're, you're going to go down the escalator. Common use for that is a mortgage. You and your spouse, right? One earns more than the other. 
but you bought a $400,000 home and you want to make sure if someone passes away, whoever's left behind doesn't have to sell and move. So you purchase a decreasing term policy for however long, 20, 30 years. And then as you are making your mortgage payment, right? So your mortgage is decreasing the, the amount that you owe. Well, in stride, the amount of um, coverage in your insurance policy is also going to decrease. Now, your premiums will remain level. The math is done up front, right? And that's super beneficial because it's it, it, it allows it to be easier for you to budget, right, realistically. Like, I mean, just plain, it's just plain budgeting. Um, so you've got uh, level, increasing, and decreasing. Uh, there's a couple of uh, speech uh, speechers, features that I want to I want to talk to you about: renewability and convertibility. Uh, renewability. So you take out a, a half a million dollar, twenty year term, and you're twenty, right? Well, when you get to forty, you're like, man, uh, things didn't go as planned. You know, I still need some term, some term life insurance. So you you ask to renew, and you're able to renew. Um, Again, a lot of there's a lot of carrier specific things that go into that. It's not just cut and dry, um, but still, you you can renew your policy. Most most carriers will let you renew up to age seventy a term policy before you're kind of forced into a permanent product, and that's because the average age uh, of or death age in the United States. Is somewhere in that mid 70s, mid to late 70s range, right? So we don't, the insurance companies hedging their bets, if you will. And it's bad to say, but I mean, it's business. Nobody's in business to lose money or they wouldn't be in business. Okay, so renewability normally will get you up to age 70. I'm sure there are carriers that go further than that. Talk to an agent or talk to your carrier if you are an agent. Uh, convertibility. This is my favorite thing. Okay. I talk to clients about this all the time. If you know right now, one, I want, I want life insurance Two, I want it to last me my whole life. The three, I can't really afford the payment that comes with a whole life product. You can do a term and have that has a convertibility option tethered to it. So you do a 30 year term, you started at 30, you ended at 60, but somewhere before 60, you get to convert it to a whole life. Hold out right there. This is where I bring in my little graph, my little thing. I've got a much better one in my office. This is something I threw together here. All right. So we're, we're going to say we start our term policy at 30 and it carries us down to 60 over here. And all that stuff in there, children, credit cards, mortgage, right? Um, Maybe you've got investment properties. Maybe you've got a second mortgage or student loans or car loans, certainly. You know, somewhere in there, um, oh, this way, <laughs> somewhere in there, you're going to start paying those things off, right? And if you don't, that's why you have the term policy. But at the end of it, at 60, let's say 60, the house is paid for. You don't have any car loans. Your student loans are paid off. Your children are grown and gone. Like the the amount of weight that you're supporting financially, it just goes it just goes down. And by the time you're sixty, you can convert it into a whole life because maybe you don't need a half a million anymore, or a million dollars anymore. Maybe you only need twenty five thousand, hundred thousand. You know, maybe you're looking at a final expense type of policy. Um, or you want to you want to leave some generational wealth behind. So you do whatever the math is and you come up with your number. And that's the amount of whole life you carry. So whereas if you started with a whole life at a million dollars or half a million dollars, for, for argument's sake, let's say your policy was five hundred dollars a month. That's a lot. to That's a lot to shoulder. You may not have been able to afford that when you were 30. But you could afford a term. So having that convertibility option on the back end, to me, makes a ton of sense. Tons of sense. You can have your insurance up front that you need. So if for some reason you were to pass away, 
your family's not left holding everything and struggling. But if you make it to the end of that term, right, you have an option to purchase into a whole life. And in most instances, you you may not have to show insurability. Now, insurability is something that I'm, I'm just going to touch on real quick. Insurability is part of an underwriting process. If you don't know what underwriting is, um, talk to your agent, right? But because it differs and it is, there is such great vari- variation between carriers, it's, it's unbelievable. Some, some carriers, it's product specific. If you're buying this, you may not have to show insurability at all. But if you're buying this one over here, we want hair sample, you know, uh, drug tests. We want blood tests, height, weight, answer all these questions. Give me access to your doctor. Like there's a lot that goes into it. So, uh, but that's it for term. Just to recap, it is what it says it is. It is a term. It is for a specified amount of time, right? You've got level coverage, increasing coverage or decreasing coverage. Uh, you've got uh, renewability options uh, that you can have on there, and you've got convertibility options that you can have on there. Um, your The value, the death benefit is something that you pick out with your agent, right? These are things, these are conversations you have with your agent. One quick note, just like you can find a car loan uh, calculator or mortgage calculator, you can find life insurance calculators online. Go in there, plug in all your numbers, and it'll spit you out like, hey, this is the ideal amount of insurance that you should have. I hope you guys enjoy the video today. I look forward to doing the whole life with you. Uh, That's going to be coming in the next few weeks. Um, If you did like it, if you got something out of it, please hit the like button. Follow me. Share this stuff with your friends. Uh, If you're getting ready to take your life exam or you're getting ready to go to the class, man, I'm pumped for you. I had a really great time in mind. Uh, there's a lot of eye-opening experiences in there. I mean, you can tell just just one page, like there's lots of highlighting that takes place, and lots of note-taking. And it's like that through the whole book. So, wish you guys all the luck. If you have any questions, uh, please drop comments below. Um, if you've got unique things that you've run into, I'd love to share and we can all learn together. But thanks so much.